Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Geek Channel with another video, and today is a gloomy day. It is currently raining right now. Um, which is actually perfect so I can stay in my apartment and show you guys what I got for the month of April. What we got here in this haul, we got some boutique label stuff. We have, we have Criterion, Apple Video, and some Kino Lober stuff that were part of the March Madness sale. So the first one is a big release for me for the month of April that the Criterion Collection release of Memories of Murder directed by Bon Joon Ho. I did a review on this particular film as well a blue review on this film link below and I just share my thoughts on the film and in short story I love this movie. I absolutely love this movie. This one of the title that I could not just wait. Um, yes, I could get this really cheap on the 50% off sale for this summer, but I decided to get it right away as a day one purchase because this is, when this was announced, I was like, yes, take my money, I'm going to get that day one, and this is one of those titles, and I absolutely love this movie, I really do. Um, it's just, I did talk more in depth on that video alone, but... I absolutely loved it. I, that's all I can say. And it's just really fantastic film with a great release. It's a two disc. So there's plenty of special features to share with this. Um, Just phenomenal, phenomenal film. Then we got Donnie Darko released by Arrow Video. This is the 4K release. A box set, if you will. I did a quick closer look on this box set as well link below but this is one of the films that I have seen um, I've seen this movie for a long time um, that was my short time watch back in 2014 or 13 somewhere when I bought the studio release blu-ray of this particular film which I still own um I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this as a backup um just in case ever something happened but yeah um, I had this for a long time. This was my copy of Don and Darko, but I was so happy to upgrade um, into a much better edition than that what I have a studio release. It's just a regular keep case with two discs in it, but this is a much nicer set. It comes with a 100 page booklet, a hardback booklet, a poster, um, two discs, you know, the other cut and the director cut. Um, now. There's an issue that the Arrow video had already stated on their social media platforms that there is a frame rate issue on the first disc. Soon, rather later, we, we will be having a replacement disc program. I don't know when, but they just, they're looking at it um, at the moment. So be on the lookout for that because um, the disc itself is not perfect by any means maybe in short not ready um but there's a frame rate issue on the first disc i don't know about the, the second disc the second disc i believe is the director cut of the film but this is loaded with extras like tons and tons and tons of extras and a very nice um you know pr premium arrow video release um just gorgeous just gorgeous i love the back artwork um let me take that off just Look at that. Just I'm looking at the monitor on in the floor. It's just gorgeous. Just really nice substantial. Um just a really fantastic release by Arrow Video. This is the one I pre ordered on Amazon, but they did not ship. But I was shocked to see this on Best Buy. So I ordered I cancelled that order from Amazon and got this in store in day one. Um uh, which is just perfect timing. Um because this is one of my most um, you know, this is my must want for that day, for the month of April, basically, and just so happy to own Don and Tarko in a much definitive edition. Um, originally, I remember wanting to get that Blu-ray release by Arrow Video, the limited edition that they, they, they released long ago. Um, sadly, that was out of print. They released the standard edition of the Don and Tarko on regular Blu-ray, you know, clear case. Um, then this was announced, I was like, perfect. It's a beautiful set, so awesome. Hey guys, um, Editor Bernie's here. Um, I'm editing the Blue Collection update for the month of April. I forgot to mention about Darn Darko is that I really like that movie. Um, I remember watching for the first time, did not like this movie. I didn't understand what the film is. I, upon me watching it multiple times, I got to appreciate the film and 
Ash now love this movie. I really absolutely love this movie. I cannot wait to rewatch it again on the Arrow disc. Um, with, I haven't seen this movie for a long time since 2015 or 14 ish when I rewatched multiple times. Um, yeah, this is one of those films that you have to give a another rewatch multiple time to understand what the film is. And yeah, and another thing I forgot to mention, be on the lookout for my Easter Carnage Arrow sale that I ordered a bunch of Arrow titles on the Grindhouse videos website. I already received two titles, um, two titles so far, but there'll be more coming up. One of them, one of them is a box set, a trilogy set. So we really decided about that. Be on the lookout for that. And yeah, that's my quick thoughts on Don Don and Darko. Absolutely love this movie, but it's one of those movies you have to give a multiple watch, a um, multiple watch, and you have to pay, pay attention to the movie to to understand the story where it goes. So and also Jack Jen Hall, fantastic um performance on that very young age um this is where he got his start um the rising star going on and yeah darn taco is a fantastic film we really look forward to getting the replacement disc whenever that gonna happen really soon so yeah that's all i can say so back on the video i guess no man then this also came out the same day as darn taco and for whatever reason there was this was not available in stores I don't know why, but I ordered online on bestbuy.com. I used my 50% off points, um, my $50 off points, and I got it for only $8 for this film. This is the best picture winner, of course, and also the winner of the best director for Chloe Zhao. And I absolutely love this movie. I had a chance to watch this movie in the theaters on IMAX um, when it came out in really February. And I absolutely love this movie. It's a... And if you, a euphoric experience watching this movie, a kind of like talk about life itself, kind of like remind me of Boyhood a little bit. And I just absolutely love this movie. The cinematography, the direction, the performance by Francis McDermott, um, just a beautiful story. It's just, it's one of those films that you just lay back and just enjoy the journey that the character takes on. And what a beautiful, beautiful movie as a whole and just I cannot wait for to see more Chloe Zhao works in the future especially with Eternals which I'm most looking forward to seeing in the year of 2021 um just I, I just cannot believe Chloe Zhao made a smaller budget film an independent film and she's going to make I mean already been made a bigger budget film she's transitioning to bigger budget films which is Really exciting for her, especially for her career. She just got started. She just got started, and I cannot wait to see her grow as a filmmaker in the upcoming future. And No Man Land, if you have not seen it, I highly, highly recommend. Really great stuff. Hellboy, the David Harbour version of the film, not the Guillermo del Toro film, even though I kind of wish they made the, the third Hellboy, but that's not going to happen since we got a reboot, um, which I heard is not... Good, and I got this really cheap at Best Buy for six dollars. I was with a slip cover, no less. Um, why not blind buy this movie? I haven't checked it out. It's still sealed. Um, just I haven't watched it, but I'm really worried about this movie. I heard because I heard nothing good things about this movie, and I want to give it an open mind and a chance as well because I do like David Harbour a lot. He's a great actor. Um, I don't know about the. The new version of Hellboy, because I love the first two Hellboys, um, Dr. Baike Gamatoro, starring, um, Ron Pullman as Hellboy. You have gold with the first two, then you did decide not to want to make a third movie because of the budget reasons, and Gamatoro basically gave up on that project and just moved on with it. I mean, he made The Shape of Water, and in result, he won for Best Picture and Best Directing. I mean, that man, I love Gamatoro. He's... One of my idols, um, one of the, my idol, my top five idols. Um, I just don't get why they decided to reboot Hellboy if you have gold already. Ah, uh, it is what it is, but you know what? I'm going to watch this with an open mind and let's see what I, you know, think of this movie. Um, follow me on Letterbox in the future, um, if I've seen this movie and I'll let you know my thoughts on that. Um, it's just... 
I have no, I have low expectation going and watching this movie. And I kind of wish they made the third Hellboy instead of oh, rebooting this. It is what it is. But I'm going in with an open mind and I'm going to give this movie a chance. I was originally going to watch this in theaters, but obviously that didn't happen. We'll see if I like this movie. If I didn't like this movie, oh well. I didn't pay full price. I only paid $6, which is not bad at all. And this is the blind buy. Westworld. I only pay five dollars. I paid. Um, I got this movie at the same time I got Hellboy. Um, yeah, really excited to get into this because I heard really good thing, good things about this movie. Then we're gonna get the stuff with the March Madness sale that was um, provided by Kino Lober, and I got four titles from that sale. The first one was I'm really excited. That is directed by Ryan Johnson. That is Brick. Oh, it's in my hands. Oh my God, I cannot believe it's in my hands. Um, this is happening my wish this for a long time since this was announced that they're finally gonna able to release this on Blu-ray for the first time in America. Um just I cannot wait to see Ryan Johnson earliest work because I'm a big fan of Ryan Johnson. I really love his work. I really do. And yeah, starring Joseph Gordon Levitt, this looks so much fun. Then we got the Good Son starring Kevin McCulloch as you know it's starring um McCulloch Culkin. Um this sounds fantastic and so much fun. So I'm gonna watch this in the month of October, cause this feels like a, a an October watch. Um, you know, this is about a son who has who happened to be evil, who is doing something really suspicious. It looks like a fun time, and also Elijah Wood is in this movie, so that can be an awesome pair that I have not yet seen on together on screen. So really, really look forward to seeing this one after watching. In the in the heat of night, which is a phenomenal film, I decided to get the others sequel that is the Coming Me to Tips organization starring Cindy Patier. These are the sequels from the in in the heat of the night. So I didn't know there's a sequel after finishing watching In the Heat of the Night, which is a phenomenal film, and now I'm more excited to watch to continue watching this character in these two films. So I'm really excited to get into this. Um, hopefully someday in the, in the future, cause give me more Cindy Potier, big Potier, um, phenomenal actor, really a definition of a badass. That is my Marsh Madness haul from the Kingdom Lober. Mothra. This is a still book released by Mill Creek, and I found this in Walmart for only fourteen dollars. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this. It's a still book, which is really nice, really nice still book. It's coming to, you know, clear, um, slip cover. And a really nice artwork, including the back, um, which is really nice. And there's, some, I mean, there's some discard and interior artwork. So it's a really nice release um, with a small budget um, independent um, release by Mill Creek. And the main reason I want to take this movie out is because I want to take this movie out before I see Mothra vs. Godzilla. Part of the show ever in the Criterion set that I have. So I want to check this out before I watch Monster vs. Godzilla. And this is directed by Ishi Inoshiro Honda, who also directed um, the original Godzilla. So that's a pretty cool bonus point for me. And I'm really excited to check this out because it looks like a fun time. And the same day I got the Mothra set, also picked up the Critters set. This is released by Screen Factory. This is a four film set. I have not yet seen this because I'm saving it for Halloween. And notable, I believe Critters 3 has Leonardo, Leonardo, yeah, a very young Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I believe won their first role, I believe, his first role. So, really looking forward to checking that, check, checking that out. Even though I heard that the last two are not that good. But I heard the first one is really good. So, I'm really excited to check this out. It's a nice... Released by Screen Factory. I love where Screen Factory does this, where they put a franchise into the very nice collector box, set like they did with Fire 13, which I do have. And lastly, but not least, I saved the best for last. I got this in a good deal on this website called Mer Mer Mercury, Mercury, some whatever that website called. Um, it's kind of like eBay, um, so very similar to eBay basically. And I got it for only twenty dollars. And this is a Disney animated film, an out of print title, Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. It's in my hands, it's in my collection, it's in now officially. I can fill the gaps between, I believe, Dumbo, no, between Pinocchio and Dumbo. Um, just 
fill in the gaps, uh, finally, because my goal is to complete all the Disney animated films on Blu-ray. I have all the Pixar films. All the Pixar films are complete and up to date as well, needed up to Soul. So I'm only missing Wild the Rat Dragon, which is coming out really soon in May. I'm also missing Many Times and Make My Music, which have not yet released on Blu-ray. The Black Cauldron had officially released on Blu-ray, but only Disney Movie Club, um, are, you know, exclusive. It kind of sucks. I miss. I'm also missing Meet the Robinsons and Chicken Little, and Winnie the Pooh, the 2011 version of that. So I'm missing really few. Um, which I'm really close to a home stretch to finally complete the Disney animation line, which is really exciting from Snow White all the way to Wild of that Dragon. This is really exciting for me because this is the title has been out of print for a long time and this is a title I've been wanting to own on Blu-ray. I do have the DVD set that includes Frontier 2000 as well, um, which I'm, I'm never going to get rid of because that's an awesome set that I have. But not only that, it came the subcover. I want with a subcover because the subcover is really nice, shiny, holographic, beautiful, beautiful subcover. And it's been a long time I've seen Fantasia um, and Fantasia 2000. I don't think i ever seen Fantasia 2000. I don't think i ever seen that one. i only seen the original Fantasia. Um, I don't know. I have to check that out. I, I have not seen Fantasia 2000. Wow. What am I doing in that childhood period of, of that point in, you know, watching a bunch of Disney anime movies back in the day when I was a kid? Um, I don't know why I didn't see Fantasia 2000. I don't know. But I have seen Fantasia. Love that movie. I love the animation. So classic. Um, just beautiful to watch. It's breathtaking. And I cannot wait to watch it on Blu-ray to see how it looks. Um, even though I have rewatched this movie on Disney Plus because I've been wanting to rewatch this movie. And there's some one of my favorite segments. Um, my favorite one is oh my god, what's it called? It's the I don't know. It's like one of this um this um this short um the title I'm gonna put this um in the video, but also the sorcerer the sorcerer Appen apprentice short segment. Which I had this for a long time um since I was a kid. So and I I got I got this in Disney World um. When I was young, um, so this held a special place in my heart. Um, I'm never gonna get rid of that. But all in all, so happy, so happy to own this an out of print title that I've been wanting to own for a long time, and and filling the gaps in my Disney Blu-ray collection, which just because I've seen the price go really high on eBay, stupidly high, stupidly expensive, which sucks. Um, but I was. I found it in the right day, in the right moment, and it came in the subcover. Just, ah. It's in my hands. In a very okay, good condition. Um, the subcover had minor wear and tear, but the content is all that matters. Well, there you have it, guys. That's what, everything what I picked up for the month of April of 2021. And, yeah. If you need this channel, please subscribe and follow me on Letterboxd and Twitter. Link below. Have a great one. And take care.